What's up guys? Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm going to go over a part of our acceleration series today. The first drill a lot of people will start working with is a wall drive or wall drill. Real quick, we'll go over the drill there. So we're going to start, we're going to try to create about a 45 degree angle with the body here. Head's going to stay up. Feet are going to be hip width because that's where we're going to run from. Starting from the ankle to the shoulder is going to maintain in a straight line. So your hips are extended, your butt's not going to be in, butt's not going to be out, right? Again, starting from the foot down, we want to have weight on the ball of the foot. The heel should be slightly off the ground. Basically, so the reference would be that you can use that you can slide a piece of paper or a credit card under the heel of the foot. From there, the front leg is going to be driven up to approximately around knee height. It's going to be a locked ankle position, all right? So the toe, you're going to pretend there's going to be a string on your big toe pulling it up. And then also, you want to have the foot as far as proximity directly under the knee. Normal progression we'll start with, we'll start with one switch, going to three switches, five switches, and then go for 10 to 15 second bursts, all right? We want to make sure every time that the knees are driving up to the same angle, so starting with one, good positions, hips are fully extended, knee driving up, switch one, switch one. So the big emphasis on the drill also that I'll go over is driving force into the ground. So you want to explosively extend the hip. We don't want kids to just focus on pulling the knee up. We want to, ex running is all about explosion of the hip, right? Explosive hip extension. So let's go into the pros and cons of it real quick. It really works out well for youth athletes, especially if you have a lot of youth athletes at one time. Because if you teach a youth athlete a two point or three point stance, coming out of that stance, what's their first motion? The first motion is just stand up and start running, all right? So it teaches you that torso position, how to be extended, and also kids that tend to run flat footed to teach them how to get uh, weight on the front leg. So it does a lot of things with proprioceptions. What's the, the cons of the wall drive, I would say? It doesn't. 100% mimic the position which you're going to foot strike with when you're going through acceleration, all right? So where you would actually be throwing force into the ground at when you're accelerating is directly under the hip first. It's not going to be so far behind the hip, all right? So the location of the foot strike. So we'll go into another drill that I would press this one into and when to use either coming up. All right guys, with the sled, sled march, you're gonna see a lot of similarities between the sled march and the wall drive. They're both working out of that acceleration position, all right? So from the ankle to the shoulder is gonna be in a straight line here. Feet are still gonna be hip width, and ankle is still gonna be in the same position, so you're gonna be able to slide something underneath your heel. With the, with the leg in front, it's still gonna drive with hip, hip height. You're still gonna have a locked ankle, so the toe's gonna to pull up from the ground. The difference here is we're going to apply force into the ground and we're actually going to move forward. Also what happens here, it's a more realistic si simulation of what's going to happen when you're going to accelerate into a sprint. Why do I say that? Because you're actually applying force into the, into the ground where you would if you're going to accelerate. So it's more closely related to being underneath the hip, whereas opposed to the wall drive where you're applying force way behind your body. So it's more specific to the actual joint angles that will be present during an acceleration phase before the sprint. Also with foot contact, it's gonna emphasize a little bit longer time on the ground, more powerful, powerful steps, whereas opposed to when you get into top flight, that uh, ground contact is gonna be uh, much shorter and more rapid, all right? So a lot of good things here. Going forward, I use both drills. Personally, if you have a large number of youth athletes, are they gonna get something out of the wall drive? I absolutely think so, as far as proprioception, keeping a proper acceleration angle, because a lot of kids start popping up. All right? Also, if you have a lot of kids that are running flat-footed, it gets you just to be aware of keeping weight on the ball of your foot. All right? So there's a lot of good things that come out to it. That being said, if you have some older athletes, I would say the, the sled march would be the way to go. You're getting a ton more work. It'd be a better use of their time and it's more specific to actual acceleration, all right guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope everyone's doing well.